I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path... The other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. We are ready, travelers. Your journey is about to start. Come with me. I've asked the monks to take care of my journal. Hopefully it will enlighten someone else's journey. The life of the Lama is as hard as their beds. Those are money wheels, imprinted with the mantra Aum Mani Padme Hum. It's a blessing. That door leads to the other half of the monastery. He's meditating. I shouldn't disturb him. He's meditating. I shouldn't disturb him. They must have noticed me. They've stopped whispering. They must have noticed me. They've stopped whispering. They must have noticed me. They've stopped whispering. Yishi准备好了。请走上高谈,旅行者。旅行者，请走到高坛上来。He's waiting for me to step into the circle.
What are you doing here? You cannot be here. It will find you. I don't... Where am I? What is this place? How did you get here? Go back the way you came, quickly. You cannot stay. I... I don't... know how to go. It is here. What have you done? What have you done? What do you mean? What? The undreaming. Blood. What is that? What? No. No. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That might be true in most cases. Sometimes, however, the two are one and the same. My name is Zoe Castillo. I don't usually look this pale, but that's what you get for being in a coma. That's my father, Gabriel. I'm all he's got in this world. My mother died 15 years ago and I don't have any siblings. I think he'll be very lonely when I'm gone. I wish I could have talked to him one last time, let him know that everything will be okay. But that would be a lie. The only thing I could have said is goodbye. Since I'm lying in that bed, but I'm talking to you from out here, I guess this is what they call an out-of-body experience. I'm not sure anyone can hear me, but I've had some experience with voices from the grave recently, so I'm giving it a shot. Bad things are happening, and everyone who knows the truth is either dead or has vanished off the face of the earth. If I can get through to someone, anyone, maybe something can be done. So if you can hear me, please listen. This is very, very important. It might just be the most important thing ever. You'll have to forgive me for using the oldest cliché in the book. It all began when... Causing the unfortunate cow to implode. Ryan? Mo, <laughs> that's a spicy a meatball. <laughs> to err is human, to forgive is bovine. <laughs> I'm running out of cow jokes here, people. Thanks, Diane. The static has been blamed for a chain collision this morning on the Crosstown Express, killing one person and injuring five. Witnesses say that a delivery truck lost wire contact and manual systems failed to take over, causing it to hit another vehicle. This accident coincides with a new report from CTU, claiming definitive evidence that the static is caused by heavy sunspot activity. The report has already come under fire from several... Must be some kind of viral ad. Cricket's coming home, folks, and the critters are knocking them down like there's no tomorrow. In the opening innings, the Kasawi fast bowlers came out gunning for glory. Zoe, there's a message. My mobile's beeping. So I have a thing for pillows. I had to bug Dad a million times before I got this in-window system. He thinks I spend way too much time in front of the screen. There's a message on my mobile. There's a message on my mobile. There's a message on my mobile.
This is an automatic reminder sent by... Oh, shit. The gym. I have to hurry. Hiya, Wonkers. Zoe, do you want to play a game? Not today. I'm just not in the mood. Oh, okay then. I need to get going. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. I just haven't felt much like playing lately. Okay then. I never leave home without my mobile. Almost never. I'm glad I don't have to share a bathroom with Dad. He's messy. I haven't used my backpack since I went to Norway with Reza. I've spent so much time on that thing lately, it's a wonder my butt hasn't ballooned. Good morning, Zoe. Dad? What are you still doing home? Having my coffee? The train's not leaving until one o'clock, so I thought I'd sleep in for a change. Train? What train? The train for Bombay. Bombay? Good Lord, Zoe. Did you forget already? We spoke about it on Tuesday. I'm going on a business trip to Bombay, remember? Oh, Bombay, right. I thought that was next... Oh, wait. It's today Thursday. How pathetic is that? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Well, at least you're up before noon. That's something. So... Do you have any plans this morning? I mean, what's left of it? Um, I'm going to the gym. See? You still have passion for something. It's either that or scan the wanted ads and get depressed about all the jobs I don't qualify for. If you feel that way, why don't you go back to school? Dad, don't start. I'm sorry, Zoe, but you're obviously not happy here either. Change your major. Biotech's not the only thing Cape Town's got to offer. Hell, why not change university? I'll help you. In fact, Bombay's got a great school for bioengineering. I could stop by while I'm there. We've had this discussion already. Oh, I wish it was that easy. Don't you think I miss having direction and ambitions? Now I'm just... Oh, I just don't know what I want. Can you please understand that? I need time. Fine, I won't push. I'm happy to have you home, Zoe. I just hate to see you like this. So do I, Dad. So do I. So, what's happening in Bombay? We're signing a contract with a new biotech outfit, and they need me to do another on-site evaluation. Oh, that sounds really, really boring. I thought you wanted to do more lab work. I did. I do. This is what happens when you get a promotion. Serves you right for having ambitions. So when are you coming back? Well, I'm not actually sure. Could take a few days. Could be as much as two weeks. Really? Two weeks? I have the house to myself for... I, I mean, I have to be alone for two weeks. Yes. 
And we talked about this on Tuesday as well. Oh, sorry. My mind's just elsewhere. <laughs> I'll say. Buy me something in Bombay. Something exotic. An alarm clock, maybe? Funny. I should hurry. I was supposed to be at the gym already. Have a nice trip, okay? So you don't know when you'll be back? No, but uh, call me if there's anything. I might not pick up corporation rules, but I'll call you back. I promise. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Be good, okay? Yeah, yeah. Dad and I have a great system for keeping the kitchen clean. Dad packs light. I think I got that from him. Bye, Dad. Have a safe trip, okay? I will. Bye, sweetheart. Jardanda Rose. It's even less exciting than it sounds. Hi, Zoe. Morning, sweetie. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Hi, Liv. I'm going to the gym and I'm running a bit late, so... Hey, listen. I've got something you should take a look at. You're not in a rush, are you? I can't be late again. John was going to lecture me about my lack of commitment. Okay, sweetie. Later. You really need to see this. Sure. I'll pop in after I'm done. Once upon a time, people scribbled words on pieces of paper and dropped them into these boxes. Hey, Zoe! Hiya. Out for a jog? Yep, well, I'm actually heading down to the gym for a quick workout before lunch. Hey, weren't you supposed to be there already? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. You should hurry. Jamma won't be happy. I know, I know. I'm on my way. All right, we'll see you there. Ah, there you are. Right on time for a change. I know I'm late sometimes. I'm sorry. I don't want to waste your time. It's not just my time you're wasting, but also your own time. If your heart's not in it, Zoe, why bother? You're very talented, but talent matters little if you lack passion and commitment. I guess I just don't care as much about martial arts as I used to. It doesn't seem as important to me anymore. I want to be more passionate about it, but... Then maybe you should consider doing something else with your time. But let's leave it at that for now and get started on today's lesson. Ready? Go! Excellent. 
That's it. Keep it up. Stay focused, Zoe. That was good, Zoe. But practice makes perfect. Let's start over. Okay. Good. Positions. Ready? Go! Stay focused, Zoe. Good! Did I teach you that one? Good! Great movement! Block, Zoe, block! Great movement! Great movement! You make it too easy, Zoe. You must stay focused. Keep your guard up and attack only when your opponent is vulnerable. Not bad, Zoe. Not bad. Let's go again. Okay. Good. Positions. Ready? Go. Great movement. Excellent. Stay focused, Zoe. Good. Excellent work, Zoe. You're improving, Zoe. About time. Ready for another round? No. I think I've had enough for today. Very well. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. And do try to be on time. Video is following me, I swear to God. And doesn't Jarma always keep that screen switched off? This is getting a bit freaky. Hey Liv. Hey, are you done? I just got out. I'm on my way. Cool then. I have an appointment later this afternoon, so I just wanted to make sure you remembered. I'll be there in a few minutes. See ya. If Liv doesn't have it in stock, she can get it for you in 24 hours, whatever it is. Refurbished and upgraded bots is a speciality of Liv's. She makes tons of money from that. That 
thing again. What's going on? Hey, did you see that? See what, sweetie? On the screen. I saw the same thing earlier today. It was like... I don't quite know how to describe it. Like interference, but not just noise. It was clear, but distorted. Like a bad dream. Mm, no. Could have been the static. It's been getting worse by the day. I even got disconnected from the wire for a few moments this morning. The scariest moment of my life since the collapse. Not counting that time I rode the mechanical bull. Never again. So, what did you see? There's this snowy landscape with a black house and a little girl who looks like a ghost. And she speaks to me. Save her. Find her. Really, really freaky stuff. Wow, that is scary. I haven't seen that. I definitely would have remembered. Are you sure you just haven't been watching too many horror movies lately? I mean, spend enough hours in front of the screen and you're bound to start seeing stuff. Don't you start with that too, Liv. I'm already feeling guilty enough as it is. I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean anything. No, it's okay. It's me. I don't know what's going on with me. I can barely get out of bed in the morning. Every day is exactly the same, and I'm not doing anything to change that. There's no school to go to, no job, and I barely spend time with my friends. What's left of them? I see you all the time, don't I? You haven't abandoned me. No, but that's because it's so easy to come here. If it requires any more effort on my part, and that goes for everything. I'm on autopilot. It's probably exhaustion, sweetie. You've had a tough year. You dropped out of school, broke up with Reza, moved back home. All of that's bound to take its toll, no? You're probably right. And I do complain way too much, don't I? I don't want to be the whiny, apathetic Zoe. I want to be me again. Anyway, enough about me. You wanted to show me something. What was that, sweetie? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's something really cool. Oh, sorry. Before I forget, Dad's out of town, and I'm having some people over tonight. Would you like to come? I was going to unpack a new delivery tonight, but... Sure. Work can always wait. Who's coming? The usual suspects. Great. Sounds fun. How about Reza? I haven't seen him in ages. I really miss him. Any chance you guys are getting back together soon? He's not the right guy for me at this point. I mean, I love him to death. He's great. But it was getting too serious. What I mean is, I was getting too serious. It was just way too early for that. And that whole long distance thing was becoming a problem for us. It's pretty ironic that as soon as we're broken up, I move back here. Five minutes away from his apartment. Not that it makes a difference. I'm just happy we're still friends and that we're comfortable with each other. You and him are my two best friends. I don't ever want to lose that. But getting back together... Nope. Besides, I don't think he'll be coming to the party. He's been really busy. So, eight-ish? I'll bring my charm and a bottle of tequila. Now, I have something to show you. What is it? WSL suppressor software. Okay. Let's pretend for a second that I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Can do. It's like, uh, a cloak for your mobile. Want to be invisible? Just tap the screen. Well, actually, you select menu and applications, and then the icon that looks like a penguin, and then activate. But that's like, one, two, three, okay, four taps. Small price to pay, seeing as you're now invisible, right? I don't get it. I'm invisible. No, you're not invisible. That is impossible. Except with a very, very expensive combat suit, and those things don't hold up to a can of spray paint. What this little hack does is make your mobile invisible to the eye in the sky. You're untraceable. The Syndicate can't track your mobile. Mondo, cool, huh? That is cool. How does it work? You just, what, wear it to my mobile? Yup. Easy as strawberry pie. Give me a second and I'll... Oops. This is, like, important, sweetie. I'm buying a batch of exclusive Ethiopian mobiles directly from the factory. Real cheap. So I gotta... Take it. I'll see you later. 
I'll hook you up with the software when you come back, okay? Tadia Salem, Denane. Olivia imports mobiles from manufacturers and distributors in other African markets and resells them here in Casablanca at a heavy markup. There's so much crap in here, it's a miracle Liv keeps track of it all. Hi Reza. Hello. Are you busy? Mm, not really. Why? I need to talk to you. Can you meet me at Mokoloko? Sure, when? Now? I'm already on my way there. Alright, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Great. See you there. Reza? Hey. One moment. Rio? Yeah, call me when you're all set up. I'm with a friend. Okay, bye. Who was that? Well, hello to you too, Zoe. Hello. So who was that? <laughs> it's good to know that some things never change. It was just business. I'm curious, that's all. I'm happy you're dating again. It's not a date, it's just... Business, I know. I just don't want you to feel awkward talking about that stuff with me. We're past that. Noted. I'll make sure to tell you about all my romantic adventures, if they ever happen. So, how are you? I'm good. Dad left for Bombay today, so I've got the house to myself. I'm having a few people over tonight. Party? Officially, it's a small get-together. By the way, if you have time, I mean, you're welcome to... You can bring anyone you want. It's just a few people, nothing big. I wish I could, but I have some stuff to take care of, work stuff. I'm really sorry, I wish I... Don't worry about it. It's, it's no big deal. Next time, okay? What's going on with you, Reza? You've been busy. Working on a story? Neck deep, as usual. I've gotten about five hours worth of sleep in the last, what, 72 hours? Sounds like you're onto something big. It could be. I haven't taken it to the hand yet. I haven't even talked to Martin about it. I need more background, more research, but it's looking... It's looking pretty big. Can you tell me anything about it? I can't, I'm sorry. Come on, not even a hint. You know I never talk about the stories I'm working on. That wouldn't be ethical. And it wouldn't be safe. I know, I'm being nosy. No, you're just being your inquisitive and curious self. I really don't feel like myself anymore. Are you okay? I am. I should be. I don't have any reason to complain. My dad's been supportive. I have everything I could possibly need. Enough money to go anywhere I want. The thing is, I don't really care about anything anymore. I don't have any goals or ambitions, and, and I hate feeling like this. It's not me. But you felt like that for a while, though, haven't you? I mean, it's what you told me when you broke up with. I know, Reza. But I thought it was just a passing phase, and now... Now it's starting to worry me. Is this how I'm going to be feeling for the rest of my life? I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I can't even muster up the enthusiasm, or the courage, to go down to Cape Town to visit Katrina and David. What does that tell you? That you're just stuck in a rut. That's all. And it's only been a couple of months since you left Cape Town. You deserve a break. I know you're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate that, but... I don't know. I need more than reassurances at this point. I need something to get me up in the mornings. A direction in life. A purpose. Something to... Shit, sorry. I have to take this one. No problem. Yeah? Thanks. Okay, I'll be back soon. Just stay there. Sorry about that, Zoe. I'm a bit stressed today. You were saying? Don't worry about it. Uh, I know you've got stuff to do. Speaking of that, you said on the phone you wanted to talk. What's up? I need a favour.
Sure. I don't have any other plans this afternoon. Great. It's nothing big. I just need you to go downtown and pick something up for me. What is it? Do you know where the Sishadri building is located? Mm, nope. It's not far from the hub. There's a company there called Jiva, a biotech lab run by a woman named Chang, Helena Chang. All I need you to do is pick up a package from her. She's expecting me, but I don't have time right now, and I need that package as soon as possible. I don't want to use a courier simply because it's sensitive material. Chang was quite insistent that I can't pick it up in person. I'll send her a message and tell her you're picking it up instead. Is that all right? I mean, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. Seshadri building, Jeeva, Helena Chang, package. As soon as possible. And come to my apartment as soon as you have the package, okay? I'll get the hand that bites to pay you for a couple of hours' work. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing this for the feed, Reza. I'm doing it for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I guess I should get going. And you need to go do... whatever it is you're doing. Business. Top secret stuff. About that party. Sorry, small get-together tonight. What? If I finish up early, I'll try and stop by. Okay, if you finish early. And if you can enjoy the gossip and the red wine. The way it's going, we're looking at a real girls' night in. I'll keep that in mind. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks again for helping me out, Zoe. Bye. Reza Tamiz, apartment 8. After I learned about bioneering, I never wanted to eat vending machine food again. Classy. Real classy. Who are you? I'm here to pick up a package from Ms. Chang. My name is Zoe Castillo. 
She's not here right now. I don't know anything about a package. You'll have to come back tomorrow. We're closed. I have an appointment with her. Can I wait here? No, I already told you. She's not here. We're closed, so I'd like you to leave. Now. Thanks for your help. I'll come back tomorrow. By the way, that's beautiful pigmentation. What? Your hair. Beautiful pigmentation. What colour is that? I don't... I don't know. Just a standard shade that came with the, the implant. Listen, I... It's really nice. Looks very good on you. I've been thinking about going blonde. What do you think? Well, maybe. Listen, I don't have... I really need to get this done uh, before I'm done, so... And I'm very sorry to keep you, but I really do need that package. I already told you several times. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Maybe Ms Chang left the package for me somewhere. Could you please have a look? I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to... to search for a package. I'd get out of your hair quicker if you could just give me two minutes of your time. Really? Could you just check in that room? Maybe Ms Chang left it in there somewhere. Oh, fine, I'll take a quick look. But if it's not in there, you will have to leave. We really are closed. Thank you so much. Just your basic console. Just your basic console. There's no pad. The doors are fresh water, courtesy of the Bingo Corporation, laced with plenty of addictive hallucinogenics. She's out cold. I can't... I can't believe I actually knocked someone out. The door has an electronic lock, but it... She's out cold. I can't... I can't believe I actually knocked someone out. I should be able to climb up there. The cover's loose. I should be able to open it. was starting to leak through. Another few minutes. What just happened? Who are those people? This is neither the place nor the time for explanations. We need to leave now.
Someone's tampered with the system and blocked all access to this floor. I'll need to find a workaround. I've reactivated the manual override. Try the call button for the elevator. It should work now. Quickly, get into the elevator. We can't stay here. I probably owe you my thanks for saving my life. I wasn't thinking. I'm... Oh, I knocked someone out. Me. I've never hit anyone in my life. You did what you had to do. You defended yourself. I don't know about you, but I usually don't have people trying to kill me. They weren't trying to kill you. They were trying to kill me. Now, who are you? And what were you doing in my laboratory? I'm Zoe Castillo. Are you Helena Chang? That's not... Castillo. I see. Yes. Yes, I'm Helena Chang. How do you know my name? I came by to pick up a package for a friend of mine, Jericho. Jericho? I told him I wouldn't give the package to anyone but him. He couldn't make it. Didn't he tell you? I never got that message. Maybe it was intercepted. That would explain a lot. Look, I don't like this. Those people who tried to... to kill you. Are they looking for... for Jericho too? I wouldn't know. But I need to leave right now. Here, take this. Please, deliver it to Jericho as soon as possible. What is it? Information. He'll know what to do with it. Why did you react to my name earlier? Do you know my father, Gabriel? Your father? N no, no, I, I knew a Castillo once, a long time ago. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for chit-chat. I have to leave. Wait, I need to ask you... Please deliver the package to Jericho right away, and thanks again for your help. I shall not forget it. Zoe Castillo. Hey! Hey, wait! Damn it. Reza has some serious explaining to do. I don't think Reza's received any mail in the five years he's lived here. Reza doesn't have a cat. And why is the door to his apartment open? Reza? Reza? He never leaves the apartment unlocked. This is weird. Oh, my God. Are you okay? She's cold. Oh, no, not again. What the hell is going on? Find April. Say April. Those are... Those are eye commandos. Downstairs. Reza likes it dark in here. Go, go! Hands behind your head! Listen, I... I warned you! 
State your name and CID number for the record. What is this place? Who are you? State your name and CID number for the record. I want a lawyer. Name and CID number now. I was scanned when I was brought in. You know who I am. You're being held under the Syndicate Anti-Corporate Activity Statute in connection with murder and possession of contraband software. I would strongly suggest that you cooperate in every way possible or face the consequences. You guys shot me. Isn't that a violation of my rights as a citizen? As of this moment, Miss Castillo, you have no rights. What were you doing in Mr. Tamiz's apartment? I just came by to say hello and noticed that the door was open. I walked in, saw the body. Next thing I know, the cops boomed me. So where did you get the data cube? What data cube? I will remind you that your freedom is in the balance, Miss Castillo. We have enough to convict you on several counts. You could be facing up to 30 years in a corporate prison, or you could choose to cooperate. I'm cooperating here. I honestly don't know anything about a data cube. A data cube was found in your possession, containing highly sensitive information. Are you sure it's wise to keep denying your involvement? I don't... Look, I was carrying a package. Someone gave it to me. I was supposed to deliver it to Reza, but he didn't know about it. I don't understand what... Who was the package from? A woman who works at a company downtown. Jeeva. Her name was... Chang, I think. Helena Chang. How did Chang get in touch with you? What? If your friend Mr. Tamiz knew nothing about this, how did Chang contact you? Look. Okay, so I was helping Reza out. He asked me to pick up the package for him, but he didn't know what was in it. He never saw it. Whatever was inside, the only person responsible is Helena Chang. You should be interrogating her. All Reza did was talk to the woman. He's working on a story, and she's a source. What kind of story? I don't know. He didn't tell me. I'm sure there's a good explanation for everything. Reza would never harm anyone. If Mr. Tamiz attempts to contact you, Miss Castillo, you will call us immediately, and you are not to leave Casablanca without our permission. Now, tell us again, from the top, what did Mr. Tamiz ask you to do for him? Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up, and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Um, hi. It's me. Your your mobile has probably been switched off for uh, for obvious reasons, but if you do get this message, Reza, um, please, please come home. I'm sure things can be sorted out if you just come home. I'm really worried. Call me, okay? Bye. Or send me a message, just oh, something, anything. Bye. Come on, Dad, please pick up, please pick... Hello, Zoe. Dad? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm currently away from my phone. Leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Oh, shit. I should clean up that mess at some point. Zoe, there's a message. Hey, Zoe, um, this is sort of awkward. Bonkers, I don't have time to... But remember the time we hopped the vac tracks to Europolis without telling anyone, and you got completely shit-faced? What? I had to carry you to that sleazy hotel down on Jarl Street and you spent half the night throwing up. The next morning, you bought me that antique lighter, remember? Zoe, this is Reza. I, um, modified Wonkers a bit to make him play a pre-recorded message in case something happened to me. I don't want you to worry. All this means is that I haven't checked in with him for 24 hours. I'm probably okay. However, in case something has happened, I need you to do me a favor. 
I keep an updated copy of my notebook in my apartment at all times. It contains everything about the story I'm currently working on. I wire over my notes and research twice a day. I need you to get that notebook now and take it somewhere safe. If I'm, if I'm in trouble, get the information inside to my editor. You'll need to decrypt it to find the notebook. I keep it somewhere safe. Go to my apartment and tell Lucia what I told you the day you left for Cape Town. She will find the notebook for you. I'll be here when you come back. Jesus, Reza. Please be okay. Like I said earlier, I'm probably okay. Maybe I just forgot to check in. Maybe Wonkers has malfunctioned. Maybe... Uh, maybe I just had to leave. Quickly. But get the notebook, just in case. You're the only person I can trust with this, Zoe. Keep it safe, and I'll see you soon, okay? I had to bug Dad a million times before I got this in-window system. He thinks I spend way too much time in front of the screen. He's not wrong. My most treasured possession. You're here, Liv. I don't know what to do. Reza's disappeared and the eye's looking for him. I need you to slow down, sweetie. Where have you been? I came over last night, but you weren't home. No one had heard from you, and your mobile was off the wire. Completely. That's because I was arrested. What? There was a dead woman in Reza's apartment, and... and... and the eye raided his place while I was there. They shot me. I don't know what's happened to him, or where he is. They asked me all kinds of questions about him. I think he's in serious trouble, Liv. Calm down, sweetie. I'm sure he's all right. Take a deep breath and start from the top. Okay. I met Reza at the coffee shop yesterday, and he asked me to pick up a package. And when I woke up, I was in this strange room in the syndicate building. Alone. I spent half the night in there. Over and over again, the same questions about Reza, Jeeva, the package. They didn't let me go until early this morning. Wow. Zoe, that's... that's so scary. I can't imagine what it was like for you. You must have the worst hangover in history. Wow. Do you know what was in that package? I didn't open it, but they told me it contained a data cube with sensitive information of some sort. It had to be pretty sensitive for the eye to raid Reza's place. I wonder what it was. This sounds really serious, Zoe. Whatever it was, I don't believe Reza had anything to do with the dead woman. He wouldn't hurt a fly. It must be that story he's working on. Maybe he pissed off the wrong people. Maybe he uncovered something really bad, and now... Now I'm involved, too. You'll be okay, sweetie. They let you go. Hey... What was the name of that company again? I'll rustle up some contacts, do a bit of digging, see if anyone's got the lowdown. Jeeva. And the woman's name was Helena Chang. I'll send out some feelers on the old network, see what I can come up with. It has to ring someone's bell. We'll figure this thing out, Zoe. And you know, I'm sure Reza's fine. He's been in trouble before. He knows his way around those syndicate goons. I don't know about that. I got a message from him through Wonkers. It was automatically triggered because he didn't check in for 24 hours. The message told me how to find his notebook in his flat. That might give me some idea what's happened to him. Sure you want to go back there, sweetie? You don't mess with the eye. Those battlesuits aren't Halloween costumes. 
Besides, his flat's probably been sealed by now. Reza's in trouble and he needs my help. There must be something you can do. If you're absolutely sure? Yeah. I can get you through an eye seal, but we'll need to upgrade your mobile. What if I'm arrested again? I don't need to get charged with possession of illegal software on top of everything else. Don't worry. I'll mask the hack. Anyone checks your mobile, all they'll find are some new avatar masks. What do you want? Fluffy bunny rabbits or cuddly koala bears? Surprise me. Okay, but first, let me tell you how this hack works. The firewalls got these symbols that are difficult to automatically decipher. Don't ask me why, it's a mystery. All you have to do is match the symbols at the bottom of the screen with the exact same symbols in the matrix, one by one. Match all the symbols and the code breaker does the rest. But there's a time limit. Stay connected for too long and the code breaker disconnects. That way, you avoid triggering alarms. You can usually reconnect again after a few seconds. So it's almost like a game? Sweetie, it's definitely not a game. There are real people safeguarding the wire, and most of them aren't particularly friendly. You don't need to tell me that. I've learned the hard way. Okay, I'll update your mobile now. Oh, and I'm also giving you that software cloak we spoke about yesterday. You'll be invisible to everyone, even me. Great. That might come in handy. Done. You're good to go. But Zoe, promise me you'll be careful, okay? And give me a call if you need help with anything. Or get yourself into trouble. No trouble. And I'll definitely call you if I need help. Thanks, Olivia. You're the best. Sweetie, I'm sending you into eye territory equipped with an illegally modified mobile. I'm either your best friend or your worst enemy. I never leave home without my mobile. Almost never. The eyes put a clamp on Reza's door. They don't fool around, do they? Not too bad for a first attempt. Zoe! 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 Zoe!
loose, she's completely busted. I'm sort of preoccupied at the moment. I'm not particularly tired. Bathroom door. Um, no. Maybe I could get the spider in here. Um, no. Bathroom door. Reza likes it dark in here. Bathroom door. Panel controls. I've removed Lucia's power source and brain. Nothing left but mechanical parts now. Nothing here. Reza wouldn't keep any of his work on this console. Knowing Reza, there's only beer and leftover pizza in the fridge. Reza likes it dark in here. I'm not particularly tired. Um, no. That panel controls everything from the water temperature to the audio system. I've removed Lucia's power source and brain. Nothing left but mechanical parts now. So nothing but the best for Jerry. Nothing but. I've removed Lucia's power source. Nothing but the best for Jericho. He screens and Reza likes it dark in here. Bathroom door. 
Reza likes it dark. The shower control. Nothing but the best for Jericho. Reza usually sticks to notepads and his mobile when he's working. The console's mostly for research and fun. I've spent a lot of nights in that bed. It's very comfy and bouncy. That panel, Zoe 1, Spider 0. Um, no. Zoe 1, Spider... I've removed Lucia's power source and brain. Nothing left but mechanical parts now. I don't think Reza's received I don't think Reza's received any mail in the five years he's lived here. Olivia's workstation. Liv? What's up, sweetie? Nothing much. I just stopped by to say hello. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Hey, Liv. I need some help. Sure. What? The spider fried Reza's Wattilla, and I need to get it running again to find his notebook. I've removed some parts from it, and I think they're broken. I'll take a look. Give me. Okay, so I can't fix either of these. They're totally fried. Do you have any replacement parts? I have a power source here somewhere. Hold on. That should work just fine, but I don't have a processing crystal in stock, I'm afraid. If you can't fix this one, then what about Lucia's memories? The data's continuously backed up to a separate crystal. You can use any Watilla brain you want. How about the Watillas you sell here? Don't they have brains? They're shells, refurbished. I'm waiting for an order from Watticorp, but it's not due until next week. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to figure it out myself. Thanks so much, Liv. If Liv doesn't have it in stock, she can get it for you in 24 hours. Whatever it is, 